southern states seceded. So what did Lincoln do? Lincoln could say to his rivals, I beat you, see you later, I don't want to ever see you, you said horrible things about me when we were campaigning, we're done. He didn't do that. What he did is he invited a lot of those people that opposed him to be part of his own cabinet. You guys that were against me before, you are now going to be part of my team. Team of rivals. Why? Because Lincoln recognized that even though these men didn't see eye to eye with him, they were very intelligent, very valuable individuals, and he wanted to have the use of their skill within his team. As a matter of fact, one of them, when Lincoln dies, Lincoln is shot at Force Theater, and he's taken across the street to the hotel, is, is reportedly the guy that said, as Lincoln dies, he now belongs to the ages, which is a very famous saying, meaning that Lincoln is no longer belonging to their time, but belongs to all of us as a great man. This is one of his rivals. Okay? So what do you do with your rivals? You try to keep them close to you. There's a saying by a guy that wrote a book. It's a Chinese guy. Very Chinese guy. And he wrote a book that's very famous. His name is San Su. San Su lived a long time ago, but he was a famous animal. And he said something that you guys recognize when I say it. He said in his book, first one to say it, you keep your friends closer and your enemies closer. You keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. And what he meant is, incorporate them, bring them. You can keep an eye on them. You can see how they're dealing with. And today, that strategy is still being used. Lincoln used it to his benefit during the Civil War. So here we learn a great deal about the dynamics of how to behave and how not to behave. What to do with the people that you oppose and what not to do. You learn that when there are three people, you don't fight the person with power because when you do, you lose the other person's benefits, which is what happened here. All right. What I would like for you to do, what I would like for you to do now, is I would like for you to write a two-paragraph opinion paper. Let me explain to this. How many of you before Friday had ever written an opinion paper? Raise your hand. All right. That's what Very, very few. Let me tell you what an opinion paper is. In the first paragraph, you tell me what your opinion is. Okay? And you tell me what your opinion is not, I, I, I like, I, I like trains. bananas. I like trains. Gabby would say, I like bananas. I like trains. That's great. That's your opinion. But in the first paragraph, you say, I like bananas because, number one, they're very sweet. And two, they last for a while. And three... Three, they're not like messy fruits, you know, when you're eating an orange and stuff. Get it all over your place. Bananas are not like that. That's your reason. Shh. That's your reason to like bananas. Okay? In the opinion paper, in the opinion paper, not only do you give me your opinion, but you also give me some foundation facts why that's your opinion. In paragraph number two, I'm only going to have you write two paragraphs. <coughs> And it may, you can write as many as you want, but a minimum of two. In your second paragraph, what I'd like for you to do is expand on those reasons, okay? A, why you have the opinion. Did African Americans benefit from the conflict between Johnson and Congress? Yes. Yes. Why? You have to have an opinion. Outline your opinion in paragraph two. That's it, okay? Now, this is the kicker. Before the quiz on Wednesday, we're going to read your papers, or you're going to read your papers to the class. So make sure that you write them well, because you hate to have to read something that doesn't make any sense. All right, yes? Um, so are we going to have to read our paper, or can you are going to read your paper? Uh, Dapa, remind me that this is the last time I'm going to have you do that, because I trusted that you would do it right rather than pulling around. All right, any questions? Does she have any questions? Oh. All right, Darling. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Um, wait, say that again. Say that question again. I'm not going to be here Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. 
Not a problem, not a problem, darling. You can submit it to me in Edmodo if you have the time. Okay? Feel better, and thanks for joining us on, on FaceTime. Thank you, love you. But everybody, Bye. send Nicole a, a well Nicole, wish. Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.